let's uh, let's start with the endowments part of the solution. <clears throat> if you can go to the next slide, Maria. Yeah, so um, why Duet? What is Duet? Um, over the past several years, uh, seven years, we have been implementing Salesforce projects, and a lot of them had an integration to win for. So there's not a lot of options in the world, and so the currently available solutions are fairly expensive, um, not easy to implement, and they're based on traditional integration technologies. And so what we found is that for a lot of customers that we saw, the cost was prohibitive for them to integrate the Salesforce to Info ERPs. Uh, with the current solution, we implement to four, we integrate to 14 different ERPs. Now, with the cost being a challenge, we decided to build Duet. And Duet is built on a platform. It's Jitterbit, and Steve is going to go into a little more detail after my, my slide here. But the point was we wanted to make it available to everybody, basically call it integration for the masses. We wanted to make it a quick integration out-of-the-box solution that's available to you in hours, not weeks. And so with that, um, we did achieve that, and Rensant, uh, Brandon is going to go into more detail on that. So Duet is basically a integration between Salesforce Info ERPs, any in front of the Info ERPs, um, for a fairly low cost and achievable for everybody. So that's the that's the goal for Duet. And um, yeah, I'd like to uh, to hand it off to uh, to Steve. Hey Rob, before you uh, excuse me, Steve, just a, just for a minute, Rob. One of the things that I that working for in Dallas Solutions, I I find very exciting is we're taking our our knowledge, our business consulting expertise, and our experience on you know hundreds of uh, projects to apply now to pro to products. Can you talk a little bit as to how that transition or that addition to what we're offering is uh, is going to drive the company? Yeah, so the, the strategic goal that we have is we were a services business. Basically, we implemented products. Well, with that, it's great. We have all the knowledge and the expertise, but with that expertise, we wanted to make sure that we put it in a tool, put that intelligence in a tool, in, the, in this case in Duet, and make, uh, make, the, well, make our, our knowledge available to the market uh, in a product. So. We changed our business model from more services to a lot of more product-specific companies, so that transition has happened. And in 2017, uh, you're going to see more of our products in the market for different ERPs from Infor. Excellent. Well, thanks, Rob. Um, <clears throat> Steve, we pass the baton to you. Can you talk to us a little bit about uh, our partnership and some of the some of what? Uh, Jitterbit brings to uh, the relationship. Yeah, absolutely. As I said earlier, I've really enjoyed the opportunity to work with the uh, Endowance team and uh, really enjoy seeing kind of their uh, visionary approach to uh, simplifying a lot of the integration processes that have typically been very difficult to solve around connecting traditional on-premise uh, applications data sources, ERPs, uh, to these emerging cloud applications such as Salesforce.com. Uh, the traditional kind of approach uh, and design around connecting uh, these, these um, technologies uh, around, you know, what was ETL and ESP uh, don't work as well as, you know, uh, as they could. Uh, you know, as we all know, with the uh, application and these cloud applications like Salesforce, which can change literally every single day, you need a more uh, pliable and faster to market uh, integration layer uh, such as Jitterbit to, to solve uh, these business processes uh, for success. Um, so really just an exciting opportunity uh, to see the direction and the success uh, that Endowance and the Duet solution has had in a very short period of time. Excellent. It certainly is a partnership that's going to build on uh, on each other for a long time to come. And I think it's very exciting. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I completely agree. 
And then there again, I mean, we really are simplifying uh, what, you know, Endowance and the Duet solution is able to leverage and all the clients that uh, are, are running on it is ultimately the Jitterbit uh, Harmony platform, uh, which then brings all of, you know, the necessary, uh, you know, it's a more of a configuration uh, rather than a coding approach to solving application integration and brings all the necessary behind the scenes infrastructure, uh, to deliver integration and literally, you know, uh, you know, as we'll hear, uh, days, not weeks or months as traditional integration or coding approaches would acquire. Well, it certainly has simplified the process, and I think our customers are really the the benefactors of the approach, uh, and, and certainly the reduction in time and and resource that uh, that implementing takes nowadays. So, thanks, Steve. Um, if we could just kind of move on to the uh, highlight of our webcast today, um, Ranch Hand is is a very Interesting company, um, and we're very pleased to have Brandon, Brandon Varn, Digital Marketing Manager, to uh, to lead us through some of his thoughts on the project and and some of the successes that he's that their company is realizing. Brandon, take it away. Sure, uh, I'll go ahead and start off with a little bit about Ranch Hand. Um, we actually started off as a small shop in South Texas. Ranch Hand was one of the first manufacturers to enter into the truck accessory industry. Since then, business experience, knowledge, and information has expanded Ranch Hand's presence on the road from a single rancher's truck in small town Texas to tens of thousands of trucks, Jeeps, and SUVs across the nation. We are now the leader in the grill garden after market truck accessories, and our number one priority always is that you, your family, and your vehicle are protected from the unpredictable. Um, that's a little bit about Ranch Hand itself. Well, having lived in Texas, uh, as we talked earlier, I think I was the only guy that didn't have a truck. So <laughs> your, your market's your market's pretty large, certainly in the Texas area, and I'm sure nationally as well. That it is. Well, let's talk a little bit more about some of the goals that you had. You know, at the at the onset of uh, your building your strategy. Um, some of our goals were, of course, to increase customer satisfaction, um, support the growing business, and automate the marketing process. Um, to support growing business, uh, we used tools that would help us work together seamlessly. We want to deliver information to the right people in real time to increase the level of customer satisfaction. And we wanted to automate the marketing process to improve customer touch points and push qualified leads to sales quicker. Um, I can touch in a little bit more on those if you want. Um, you know, yeah, growth through, through an, uh -huh. yeah, no, please do. Yeah, thanks. Sure, sure. Yeah, you know, growth through an expanding market is money in the bank for us. But like many expanding businesses, Ranch Hand itself needed to be to reassess how we manage that growth. Um, with technology solutions where they're at at the forefront of our prior, prior, priorities, sales and marketing processes were bogged down by the systems that did not work all together. Databases of customer information, new leads, shipment information, and sales rep activities all remained in comprom comp compartmentalized silos and weren't easy to access. Sharing information took excessive amounts of time. We weren't managing the customer experience very well. Um, the sales process was disrupted due to information not available at the right ta time. And reporting what was a whole other story, something kind of had to change in that system. Um, and that's what, you know, Duet and and Dallas especially did for us. Well, it sounds like the technology aside, your your customers were suffering. I mean, I remember talking about you. You were receiving leads that couldn't get passed on quick enough, and customers were wondering when they were going to get their products. So there were some there was some system breakdown that I think became very important uh, to the company and needed to be needed to be resolved. <clears throat> Yes, that, that's a very good point. We did have quite a bit of that, and actually uh, affecting our uh, our uh, entire company from the sales process to the customer experience process. Um, everything's kind of affected, and then Downs actually is the ones that are allowed allowed us to create processes to help with with all of that. Um, as far as our vision went for the whole thing, um, our vision was to build a solution that works seamlessly, shared information efficiently, and allowed everyone to be able to see what they needed to when they needed to see it. Um, 
of impacting our customer experience like we were talking about before. Yeah. The systems need to be integrated and easy to maintain. That was one of the biggest ones for our company. Senior management needed a dashboard to view sales information in real time, especially with the forecasting. And we were slow to get leads into the system. The company was losing sales due to our inability to act fast enough to meet demand. And that's really where Downs came in to help. Yeah, that'll catch uh, senior management's attention pretty quick. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You laugh now. I bet you it wasn't <laughs> a laughing matter. Yeah, it was. It was Hopefully that was a long time. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit more, um, you know, about why endowments. Uh, you know, this is, um, I think we developed a really nice working partnership and relationship throughout the project. So if you don't mind um, talking about that a little bit. Sure, sure. After deciding what was needed and creating the vision, we decided to, as a project team to ask Salesforce which company had the best expertise to bring all the systems together that we wanted. Um, without hesitation, our rep, Steve Prears, said that Endowment Solutions as a company is very experienced in managing projects that need to bring the solutions together. Um, you know, we did our due diligence. Endowment was very highly recommended. Even more important to us, Endowment's approach showed their experience in projects of this complexity. They first listened to our project requirements, challenging us on how to change before making recommendations. They started at the beginning, walking us through our business process, they understood the data challenges and were confident all the systems could work together. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, we did make the right choice, 100%. That's music to Rob's ears, I'm sure. <laughs> um, and Downs actually had recently announced the availability of the Duet connector, which is built on the industry-leading Jitterbit platform that we just uh, heard about earlier. This caught our attention and looked like the application that could effectively manage integration with Infor, our, our cloud suite. Sightline ERP system. We liked the experience that Downs had working with Infor ERPs, and they really knew what information was important to have in Salesforce. Even better, in Downs new product and helped us work our way through improving internal marketing processes, automating tasks that previously were manual and slow, like entering leads into our system and sharing them, creating campaigns and ex executing them, qualifying leads, creating forms. All this had to tie into future plans involving e-commerce. Um, you know, really endowments was the one that uh, helped us through all these processes. Well, well, thanks for those words, Brandon. I mean, that's, um, in my experience, um, I, I think we, we certainly understand um, a, a solution that can be applied to a situation like this. But more importantly, it's, it's understanding what your processes are and listening to what your requirements are up front. Um, and, in, and in this case, if I'm not mistaken, I believe what was uh, implemented was mostly out of the box, uh, if, if, if I'm correct on that. Uh, some parts were almost out of the box, some parts weren't. Throughout the entire time that we were provided flowcharts that would show us exactly what we needed to do for each one of those processes. So uh, I, we felt very thankful and grateful. Well, and the one thing that leads to is your, um, the closer you stay to a base product, um, <coughs> The more you have to work with it and understand how you'd like it to change eventually, maybe to your particular situation. But you're investing, uh, you're putting your dollars into investments that uh, will help your business down uh, downstream uh, and managing it better up front. So, really nice, really nice job on that. Well, let's talk. Uh, the next slide talks about your improvements. Uh, and they're really impressive. Um, and I'd like you to spend a little bit of time talking about some of the areas that you saw uh, a time savings and, and, a, and a, a, a dollar savings as well. You know, as you can see, those statistics are pretty ama amazing. Uh, the results exceeded our expectations. We now create and launch new campaigns and impress the faster than before. We are able to accomplish this twice as fast as before and reuse flows and processes to improve our turnaround times. Overall, with the sales and marketing aligned with the right tools, marketing qualified leads now move through the sales funnel 30% faster, which is quite amazing. We can respond to faster requests by delivering leads to more efficiently. Sales, in turn, can react quicker on those leads. Marketing has realized about a 30% gain in overall product productivity attributable to automating tasks that were previously accomplished manually, such as improving, such as improving the... Um, the flow of everybody's actually getting things done. So it was hard to actually get a lot of these things ha to happen. And with the, and the down solution, it really made it possible. 
these improvements will help us respond to the 50% to sales growth we have experienced over this year. Um, senior management now receives monthly reports in real time, and we've actually increased that to a daily report. <laughs> oh. We receive information quickly and so much more efficiently than was possible before. The 10 hours of time, uh, time saved by the marketing and IT teams to, to compile and prepare the data goes right to the bottom line. That's actually a direct quote from uh, Jay Courtney, our VP of Marketing. He gave that to me earlier today. Uh, we were very impressed with everything from, from top to bottom. Um, and of course, reward is the increasing customer satisfaction that we've received. We can respond quicker to requests and deliver more efficiently than ever before. There's a really important thing I'd like to uh, talk about as well, which is the company, company culture. But I don't know if Greg had anything before I jumped into that. No, I wanted to get to that because I, I, I thought that was a really cool aspect and outcome of the project. But um, I, I think it's really uh, nice for Jerry to share uh, his, his his thoughts on the time save. Now he basically has information when he needs it. Um, and a lot of that information is coming um, from the back end. I mean, it's information he didn't have access to before uh, without a lot of without a lot of effort and a lot of people um, putting time uh, time into creating those reports and then perhaps not getting the information he wanted. So now he gets all that information uh, in his dashboard in Salesforce, which is which is really cool. Um, so yeah, talk a, talk a little bit about company culture because the solution itself made life and productivity a lot easier in the company, right? It did. You know, that wasn't really one of the expected uh, outcomes, but it really did impact our, our company culture. And that's the approach was very, very organized. Um, project reporting and updates kept our entire team informed throughout the project. It made my job personally a lot easier. Unexpectedly, the solutions implemented have led to an improvement in communications between the company and organization. This has had a positive impact on company culture. Tasks that used to be manual and that are now automated have made everyone's job so much so much easier that, that you would expect because they don't have to spend that kind of time seeing that they had to before. Awesome. Um, really, really strong um, outcomes. Um, very impressive, um, very impressive and detailed improvements that you've made to your process. And, and also 50% um, growth in revenue uh, with with these kind of systems in place, you're probably ready to scale for even um, greater outcomes, right? Yes, we are. We're actually planning to attack numerous markets, uh, and the Salesforce application has just made the whole process streamlined. One of the things, too, um, that I wanted to uh, hit on was, was Pardot uh, as being a <clears throat> your marketing automation uh, tool selection. Um, information is coming from SiteLine into Salesforce and then share it into Pardot for you to uh, be a little more focused and targeted in, in your campaigns, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, yes, we, yes it does, and yes, we are. Um, it's really helped us to streamline those, like I had, uh, said before. Uh, the, the whole system now is integrated 100% from SiteLine to Salesforce, and then all the other leads that come in from unknown sources like your website, it's all congregating well and working. So. And Brandon, if there's any uh, any issues with the system while you're asleep at night, it's uh, it's up to us to make sure it's up and running, right? Oh yeah, it makes me sleep like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I I, um, I I really appreciate your comments. Uh, obviously, um, said some really good things, and I hope we we have a long term. Uh, working relationship with Ranch Hand. Um, I'd like to open it up now for any any questions we may have for any of our panel today, Rob, Steve, or Brandon, uh, Maria. So, so one of the first questions uh, is for Steve. Um, hey, Steve, what if what if more than one system needs to be integrated. What's what's the um, uh, how how often do you face that kind of a challenge, and and uh, how easy is that to accomplish? Uh, as far as endpoint to expertise, uh, Jitterbit. I mean, we've literally connected thousands of different applications, data sources, uh, whether leveraging our standards-based approach to accomplishing application integration, so any sort of uh, database, uh, flat file, CSV, uh, and then obviously all the major 
you know, uh, ERPs, whether it's SAP, Oracle, Microsoft, uh, we have, you know, successful integration projects to, to do this. Excellent. Um, Brandon, here's, here's one for you. Um, so what, what specific information gave you the most benefit um, using the Duet Connector coming into the system from Sightline? Uh, you know, Greg, this is, uh, this is important. And I want to mention this with all out of the box. First, we received many more contacts than we previously had in our CRM system. We had sales contacts, but now we received information on who was making the purchase, service, and procurement of contacts. It gave us a bigger picture of who to communicate with, um, they all had different interests in our products. From a marketing content, content, content perspective, this was important to share information with them that was relevant. We also gave our sales and marketing team order history so we knew what product was sold to customers and when. Our capability to deliver a higher level of customer satisfaction was greatly enhanced as well. So now you have visibility into what your customers have bought, when they bought it, um, if they're out of warranty. Um, uh, or, or if you need to say, or if you want to upsell them, maybe with to a new model or um, or whatever whatever other products are in your are, are in your product line. Um, excellent. Um, okay, Brandon. Here's here's another here's another one that just came in. Uh, what are some of the marketing improvements? So let's let's get back to um, your ability, uh, your marketing automation. Uh, aspect of the solution. What are some of the marketing improvements uh, you refer to when you're saying 30% improvement in productivity? That's a great okay. question. You no, know, I, you know, I, I agree with that. You know, you should think of it this way. The Duet Connector made it possible to, in near real time, send important customer information to our sales team and other Salesforce users. I mentioned before more contacts, order history and warranty and service contracts, et cetera. All the information was av available to our marketing team it was painstakingly slow making these data requests before to our back office team. It was not their fault, really. Just the method of extracting information is slow and time consuming. Could be slow and time consuming. That's all changed, though. Uh, we can produce reports, post campaigns quickly, and Parda gives us that means to manage campaigns and just as important track and measure the, the results. Yeah, I'm familiar with Parda, and I know they have pretty good measurement capabilities. So. Um... It, it helps you keep keep good relationships with your customers, probably has impacted your content marketing strategy a little bit. Um, but as you're nurturing a customer through a process or through a sale or a sales cycle, um, part of it enhances that the manner in which you stay in touch with them. Uh, do we have any other questions? We'll give a, a couple more minutes to see if any other qu questions uh, do come in. So here's one from me, Brandon. Um, so now that you have a solution in place, um, what are some of your future plans um, based on that? How is your strategy um, going to evolve for the future? Yeah, Brandon, that's a great question. We do plan to grow our base of distributors. This solution allows us to share information easier. We can keep track of what our distributors are planning and what they have purchased. The downstream effect is more visibility to manufacturing requirements and planning. Well, that's interesting, too, because we, we talked a little bit about this the other day um, from a manufacturing standpoint. Um, the, the, the greater visibility into um, the sales funnel, uh, the quicker reaction time to customers, being able to pass leads a lot more efficiently, having them qualified. Um, has helped you, I think, I think your comment was, it, it does have a downstream effect, effect in helping your manufacturing team plan. Um, you know, and your ability to, uh, to deliver to your customers. Exactly, that's exactly spot on. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a, um, that, that's a wrap from, from my side. Rob or Steve, uh, any concluding comments before we let everyone get back to their uh, busy days? 
No, I'm good from my side and really appreciate the, the time today and, uh, you know, look forward to hearing more about the success of uh, Ranch Hand uh, and the uh, endowance duet as they uh, continue to move forward. Yeah, and uh, Brandon, thank you very much for um, for taking your for taking the time today to uh, share your successes with uh, the solution. Uh, looking forward to a long-term relationship, and uh, thanks everybody for joining. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, everyone. We appreciate uh, you joining us today. Have a great day.